What's up guys, Mike here and today joining me Jeff, he's going to start his mini series course on wave riding using the jet boards. Yeah, thanks Mike. So I guess what this is, is, is a little um, tips series. If you're thinking of venturing into the waves with a powered surfboard, then this is some, some little different aspects which I think you're going to find really, really useful. So stay tuned and we're going to go step by step, one thing to another and just going to lead you through the whole thing. Alright, let's start with the equipment. What are we going to use, Jeff? Okay, yeah, so we're going to go on to equipment. We, we're skipping straight past the whole how do you jet surf because that's not this, this tutorial. This is not this series. This is for people that are already up and running and jet surfing already. This is about equipment. So the equipment, really, what I've got here, what I choose is the jet surf race. I find that the shape of the hull is more suited to the waves rather than the GP100 ultra surf shape. I haven't done much to it. It's pretty much standard as it would be. Um, however, I do use a leash, and this is a boogie boarders style leash. And what I have is I got that connected to the, not to the handle because that that's going to damage your handle if it gets pulled hard. It's actually connected to um, the actual carrying handle of the board, so it will go from there. I wear this on the on the bicep. You could wear it on the wrist as well. Some people might choose like a, a leg leash, but this is my preference here. Um, other than that, in terms of the board, if you just come around here, I've just got a couple of, one other thing really. And this is inside the snorkel is the breather um, for the fuel tank. But I find if, if water does go inside that snorkel area, then water is then going inside that breather and it's on its way into your fuel system, into the fuel tank, into the carburetor. So I just leave that cut short and mine breathes the air from inside the engine bay. Other than that, it's just safety equipment really. So I've got a buoyancy aid here. This is my buoyancy aid. It um, can double up as an impact vest also. You can put in some, some impact fins. Um, this is actually, um, yeah, it is a pretty, it's not like, you do buy impact vests which are really low buoyancy, you know, but actually it is quite important to buy, a, I would say, a buoyancy aid that's gonna give some flotation when you're there in the water. If the, there's a problem with the board, you don't wanna lay on the board and try and paddle it back because it's gonna fill up with water. You actually just wanna be able to float in the water, probably swim along, and I would leave the board uh, connected to me by the leash and it would just, just follow me along the water while I swim. If I wanna have a little rest, I'm nice and buoyant, I can just rest in the water, I can wait, you know, hold on to the board but without sitting on it, and then I'll go and carry on swimming. Probably I'm in a wave spot where the waves are kind of bringing me, washing me up to the beach as well. So it's just a matter of time, eventually I'm gonna get there. Now, while I've got the buoyancy aid here, the other thing I, I would do is, I keep the plug spanner with me. So that's something which I found can be useful. If you're, if you're stuck and something does happen and you did paddle the board in and it's full of water, you know, it's nice to be able to take the spark plug out or if there is a problem it's just handier to have a plug spanner with me than it is to have to carry my board to wherever I come from which could be a way away it's nice perhaps just to be able to whip the plug out if I need to dry it off get it going again the next thing I've got is the helmet so you need to wear a helmet this is my current helmet and I would say that basically just like a, a mountain bike motorbike kind of helmet is probably suitable something that's quite lightweight this one is actually a bit on the heavy side, really. Um, this, uh, this one that Mike's got here is, is more lightweight. I mean, you want lots of holes so the water can come back out again in the helmet, it's important. But also it needs to be comfortable. There can be other things, like I, I wear earplugs, so actually I need a helmet that suits wearing earplugs. If, the, if the he wearing the helmet means the earplugs fall out or are uncomfortable in my, in my ears, then that's not suitable. So it's finding something that's comfortable to fit. The next thing is, is the visor. I mean, the full face crash helmet I think is good, is, in, is important. I like having the full face crash helmet and in the waves crash helmet 100%. You know, I've, I've had the board, I've, I've crashed from the top turn, wave whacked straight into the back of my head and that was the first day I'd worn a helmet. And it was like, I felt a bit conscious. Should I be wearing a helmet? Oh, it's a bit silly, you know? And then that crack in the back of the head with the board, yes, absolutely, 100% every time. If I'm in the waves, a helmet without fail. Um, I don't wear a peak on the full face helmet. That The reason for that is my previous helmet, at some point I had a wave crash over me, crash it snapped the peak off in half and uh, and I guess there's just too much resistance with the water. It's not really suitable if the wave comes over you to have that peak. 
also I often jet surf in windy conditions so mm -hmm. if I'm jet surfing in windy conditions the peak is a big pain in the ass you know it's, it's blowing you can feel the wind flapping underneath the thing pulling up and you, you know I'm, I'm pulling it down the whole time it's pulling up show them um, the, which is the which is here this peak so this would be just catching a whole lot of wind while I'm going along so it's actually not that great the other thing is when I start I, I actually put my feet in both foot straps so I, I would I would lay on the board I bring up to the kneeling position I get both feet in the foot straps but I don't let go of the handles you know I keep the handles until that point when I'm gonna actually stand up you know after both feet are in the foot straps then I let go of the handles and if I got this peak on at that point when I'm, I'm flying along like this both hands in, I can't see a thing, you know? <laughs> like, ha, you, you just can't see in front of you. It's so, it's not really that practical. It's just to make you look cool. It looks cool. <laughs> but other than that, doesn't really serve much more of a purpose in the water. Okay. So that's it really. Equipment, not too much. Board, um, take the leash. Leash is important. Helmet, suitable helmet, full face helmet. Life jacket. And that's, that's pretty much covered. You get the Jet Surf Race or some other suitable board, which I haven't yet seen, that rides the waves like amazing, then, then that would be really good.